We find Jesus when we read Scripture. Jesus took them right to the good book, right? He could have said, hey, it's me. But he said, you want to you know where Jesus went? Let me go back to the Word of God. By the way, this wasn't the first time that Jesus did that. That was something he continually talked about. In John chapter 5, verse or, uh Chapter 5, verse 39, it says, You search the scriptures because you think it will give you eternal life. But the scriptures point to me. Reading that Bible, you know why you're reading that Bible? Because of Jesus. Because he's the point. This is why the Old Testament is still important, why we still need to read it. I know it's confusing sometimes. I know you're not sure what to do with every word in every chapter. But all of the scripture, everything in that book that you're holding, points to Jesus. In fact, that's what I like to do when I'm reading the Old Testament is I like to try to find these instances where God's going, eh, Jesus, eh, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. This, is, this means Jesus. I'm, I'm trying to show you through all these different ways and it will help you understand who Jesus is and what he can do for you. I've heard people say, I try not to laugh in their face, but I, I, people in college, I remember, would say, oh, I love Jesus. I just, who reads the Bible anyway? So you love Jesus, but you don't read the Bible. That's not how that works, right? Because you know Jesus through Scripture. You see Jesus through the Word of God. And so we need to make sure that we are, if you want to find, if you want to really experience this invisible Savior, you need to get in God's Word.